Did you hear him? Was he there? Yeah, he Is said he good ready? to go. He's ready. Ready to go, Kayla? Ready. Good to go, Peggy. Okay. Good morning. I'm Peggy Rose from the Voter Information Committee. I'm here along with our chair, Chris Joyce, and this is an, has turned into an annual event that the Voter Information Committee does. We have uh, diff the department heads that have articles on the town warrant this year to give a brief explanation, hopefully answer some questions you may have about the articles. And with that, we will begin with Article 61, which is the uh, Affordable <coughs> Housing Trust, or is it the Housing Affordable Trust? It's the Affordable Housing Trust. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And we have with us to, today Melinda Dignan. She is you're on the uh, you're on the trust. Thank you. And Thank you. Uh, we have Julie Cavanaugh, the uh, Slotman Board Chair, and they're going to speak to Article 61. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Polinda Deegan. Uh, that's like Molinda, but with the letter P. I uh, just wanted to add that uh, it's yeah, a little different. I thought so ho I thought hopefully I couldn't read Chris's writing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am the new housing coordinator. Again, thank you for having me in your panel oh, today yes. to talk about Article 61. Um, I'd just like to give a quick little introduction as the new housing coordinator. Uh, I've been in this role for about two months now. Um, sort of aligned with the Affordable Housing Trust, I feel like I hit the ground running with um, housing related projects. I've been attending a lot of uh, town meetings, board meetings, uh, board of selectmen meetings, um, planning board meetings, trust meetings in different towns. So I. I, uh, I've been learning a lot, and uh, I, I joke that I'm this municipal nerd now, but um, <laughs> happily so. Um, I also provide, provide office hours uh, every Thursday from uh, 8.30 to 4 p.m. So for folks at home watching, if you're interested in learning about current housing programs and different resources, please come see me. I'd love to chat with you. Um, and so that's, that's about it. Thank you, Colinda. And to be clear, we're talking about Article 61, which is uh, the Howard Affordable Housing Trust list of the town properties to designate as affordable. And the importance of this article is because, as we all know, the town faces a, a difficulty um, in providing and being able to offer different types of housing for workforce housing, for affordable housing, and we need to figure out parcels in land in the town of land that we could actually look to transfer that over to the trust so that they can do feasibility studies and figure out what parcels offer the best opportunities for affordable housing. And we are lacking that in town. We're trying to get to the, I believe it's the 10 percent on the right. And so any opportunity we have to identify lands that could possibly offer opportunities to create that's not only important for housing opportunities, but uh, as we all know, we have an aging population and we are using our, losing our younger population, and that is because they cannot find affordable places to live. That creates a real dichotomy for the, for the community in the sense that who will be able to be in place to take care of the aging population. So this article is extremely important what it does is outline the properties that we're going to be looking to transfer over to the trust to create those feasibility studies and from there they'll identify the best way to move forward. So that's a pretty large overview but an important one for everybody in the town to consider. And I think there's a map, is there a map in the <coughs> warrant that shows the parcels that are? I believe, I can actually, uh, why don't I, I just I believe we have a map in there, but uh, we do have it listed <coughs> by address. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we've had a map in our materials previously. Okay. So there are two parcels of land uh, located on Oak Street. I'm not going to go into the map no, and parcels. No, no. <laughs> the parcel of land located on Depot Street. Um, then there's other parcels of land located on or near Zero Depot identified as, and I'm again not going to go into all the, the, the details of the map and parcels, but Zero Orleans Road, Zero Depot Road, um, and then we have the others, uh, 728 Main Street and 265 <coughs> Sisson Road, and I believe that's all of yeah. them. Yeah. So those are the parcels. Yeah. No, and this is such an important issue. I hate to be like one of those old people who say, well, when I was a kid, but truthfully, when I was a kid, the street I live on, there was about 15 kids on the street over a 10-year period. Today, we have one. And uh, 
and it's just seems to be the way of the world, but uh, it's, you know, we are not the only one who has this problem, but uh, I'm glad to see we're starting to be proactive to do something about it. But you're right, Peggy, I mean, that doesn't, that does impact the entire community yes. in a sense of our school yes. numbers and such, and, you know, we, we can't continue on losing our younger population while our, we have an aging population. and. You know, not just that it relates to the aging population, but the overall economy of our town, the Cape, all, mm -hmm. all, all together. I think more and more towns understand the need for us, which is why they've created them. I think Yarmouth was very helpful to oh, us in you. giving us the, you know, the basics on how to go about it. It's extremely important. Yeah. And we're lucky to have Melinda help Anything us. Anything you want to mention about it? No. no? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you both. Okay. All right, that's it. Great. Thank you. Thank all you. Thank you.